Hi, I'm Michael LaFosse from the Origami Doe Studio. Here's one of my butterfly designs, which I've named for Origami USA, our national not-for-profit organization dedicated to the art of origami. This particular design was selected by Origami USA for the 2015 annual gift to the American Museum of Natural History presented during the lighting ceremony in November of the holiday tree. You can see that these are folded from various duo papers. They're most effective that way where one color is on one side of the sheet and another color or printing on the other. It's from a single square. Let's learn how to fold the Origami USA butterfly. Here you can see a comparison for scale. The wingspan is 63% of the length of the square. A 15 centimeter square standard sheet of origami paper produces a butterfly this size. Notice too where the white side shows on this model. Here and the four wings on the margins and then down here on the hind wings as triangle spots and also in the abdomen and the head. I'm going to refer to these smaller areas of color as the minor color and the larger display as the major color. I'm also going to use a larger sheet of paper for this demonstration. Begin with the minor color of your choice facing up. Fold in half, bottom edge to top. And unfold. Here we have a horizontal center crease. Next we need to make a couple of pinch marks to determine a specific measurement. Take the bottom edge to the center crease and make only a pinch mark over here on the edge. There's our first pinch mark. Take the same bottom edge to the pinch mark and make your second pinch mark just below like this. Now we're going to lay the lower pinch mark upon the upper one. One pinch mark upon the other. Fold all the way across. Unfold, fold the bottom corners to form triangle flaps, the top edge of each aligning with the lowest crease. Fold this flap up and over. Use the horizontal center crease of the original folding to bring this top half down. And perhaps you can see a ghost line of the layers underneath. We're going to fold the new bottom edge up at the level of the folded edge from the earlier work. Unfold. Here's our horizontal crease and just as we did before we're going to fold the two corners to make triangle flaps, top edges aligning with the crease, and fold the flap up. Your paper should look like this. Bring the back half straight up and rotate the paper 90 degrees so this minor colored trapezoid is vertical and is on the right side. Fold the paper in half, bottom edge to top. You'll have a naturally formed hinge here in the middle. Let's exercise the hinge by taking the right side of the paper, folding it over, sharpening the crease, and then stand this flap straight up. Open, forming the shape of an upside down hood. Continue to flatten the paper and use this mountain crease aligning with the folded edge below to center the paper as you flatten the symmetrical shape. Your paper should look like this. Turn the paper over to the other side and now we have a rectangular flap on the right again. Let's exercise this base hinge first. Keep the layers tight and close as we fold over to the left. Flatten and stand it up. Open the pocket as an upside down hood. You may also reposition the paper for comfort like this. You're going to use the mountain folded edge that spine for alignment. As you do this, try to keep the layers tightly together and flatten. Fold the paper so that the bottom square corner touches the top of the split. 
We have a triangle flap and we're going to stand that perpendicular to the rest of the paper. Tip the paper so that triangle flap is flat on the table. Open one of the two folded areas that are standing straight up, again into a cone or a hood shape. And we're going to squash fold, but this will be asymmetric. Watch. I'm going to pull the paper downward from the top corner so that I can form a folded edge that goes from the center of the paper to the top. That's going to be the leading edge of the forewing. Once that's flattened, I can flatten the rest of the shape and here we have the outline of one of the wings. Let's squash fold the other half. Make sure you open all the way to the center line of the paper. Remember it's an asymmetric squash. So now we see the beautiful plan for the wings. We also have paper for the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And the center line traveling through the top of the head through the abdomen is going to be mountain folded from the top or display side, forming a folded edge. We're going to grab that folded paper and swivel at an angle like this. Notice the end of the abdomen is moving up over onto the upper area. I'd like for you to also look here. I'm not going to fold all the way to the center corner. I'm going to leave it a little off. And then for the angle, aim this line and that point so that if it were to continue on, it would hit somewhere midline on this raw edge of paper here. So you can just imagine that extending. Once you have it set up this way, flatten the paper, and then duplicate the fold by bringing the lower area of wing paper up and over to match everything above, and fold firmly along the baseline. You'll notice now on the head paper, there's this vertical ridge or keel. Notice too that I did not fold it sharply, it's blunted. From the underside, you can see that one half of the keel could move away from center and the other would go the other way from center. For flattening, you could put a tool up inside, such as a knitting needle or a bamboo skewer, and form a conical tube or channel. If you don't have that kind of a tool, it's helpful to take your thumbnail and chase a small channel inside the head walls like this. Hold the thorax paper closed with one hand. You'll see that this ridge has been puffed open so that now it's easily flattened with my thumb and index finger by pressing. There. Now that it's flattened, it's easy to bend that paper around the back, leaving only this display and finishing the folds like that. So there's the butterfly's head. Bring the wings over together and let's trim the abdomen. Here is the end point of the abdomen and you can see the short edges leading down to that end. We're going to fold these short edges and the corners inside. Like this. Here's one. I like to not go all the way to the end. I like to leave it a little blunt. Once you've done one side, like this, fold the other side in to match. So those have been folded inside and now we can open the wings across from the top of the head down here to where those layers tuck into the abdomen. We bend and then put a soft valley fold from the underside to hinge the wing. We'll do the same thing with the other wing from the top of the head to the locking point. Set the wings out to each side. And here's the completed Origami USA butterfly. Visit Origami USA at origamiusa.org to learn more about origami. And come back to our YouTube channel regularly to learn more about folding and paper. Enjoy.